What's going on everyone? Sam here with Late Sports Cars. We're here at Fanatics Fest Day 2. See what we got in store for today. Hopefully it'll be a lot of fun stuff and uh, excited to meet a lot of you as well. everyone, Sam with Layton Sports Cards. We're here with, what's your name? Riley. Riley, opening some 1993 Topps baseball, chasing some Derek Jeter rookies. So Riley, who's your favorite Yankee player of all time? Jeter. Of course, great answer, great answer. So here you go, see what we got. We're gonna go look around the Fanatics Best Superstore. There's a lot of jerseys and interesting players. Hopefully you could maybe buy one, maybe make fun of a couple. I don't know, we'll see what we're gonna do. Micah Parsons. He's a diva. He's good though. Who's this? Oh, Mike Vick, interesting. Josh Allen, eh. Barry Sanders, that's pretty cool, actually. It's that 1995 Pro Bowl, it's kind of dope. That's pretty cool. If he wasn't an Oriole, it'd be a lot cooler, but Cal Ripken Oriole, unfortunately. Very good, very good. Ooh. <laughs> Stefan Marbury, New York Knick legend. He's like one of the most loved players in China. It's very, very random, but it's very cool. That's I like that. Yukon legend. That's pretty cool. Alan Iverson. Many people forget he played for Denver for like a year. With Mello. Mello and Denver, and Mello and AI on the same team. Especially young Mello, that's insane and older AI. Why? Why Penny Hardaway on the Suns? It's like three other teams you could have picked. Very random, very random. Yeet City, New York. What does that mean? I honestly don't know. This is the uh, New Jersey Devils reverse retro that they released, I believe, this year. A lot of people didn't like it, I liked it. Jack Hughes, who's like three years younger than me, which is really just like depressing when you think about it. He makes eight and a half million dollars a year. It's crazy, crazy stuff. This is cool though. Now that, that is the idea of the show right there, the Slurpee truck. That's crazy. That's awesome. Oh my God. Over Ty Lu too. Poor Ty Lu, man. <laughs> Reagan, oh my gosh. We've made our way to the Mitchell and Ness store now. As you can see it's like a dry cleaner up there. Pretty cool. 
Trace McGrady is a, I don't think he ever wore this jersey. I feel like he never wore this jersey. It's pretty cool though. You don't need these. You don't need those. Go. Now that's, that's what we need right there. That is what we need. I love it, man. I love it. What else is over here? There we go. Got the orange team going up, pass it over white. What? Oh, oh, got a little hesitant on the save there. There we go. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, collision. There we are, close. Oh, and it's out. All right, we're over to the goalie, we're over to the goalie. Oh, God, it's coming over here. Oh, good one back in. Ooh. It's getting dangerous out there. It's getting dangerous out there. I think only one team have a goalie. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, whoa, oh. whoa, friendly fire. There it is, yeah. That is gorgeous right there. Dual signed Ed Reed, Ray Lewis, inscribed Hall of Fame 2018 when Ray Lewis made it, Hall of Fame 2019 when Ed Reed made it. So that's really cool. And then of course it's signed by the artist, Elite Duo is one of one. Really, really, really nice piece. We've got Matthew Berry on the main stage right now, but some guy I don't know. Matthew Berry, of course, the guy who gets paid to uh, talk about fantasy football on ESPN. Talk about having the life. Could really never get wrong because it's fantasy football, so it's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. So now what we're gonna do on our way back to the booth, we've kind of did the entire perimeter of the show, is just stop people that have super obscure jerseys on and ask them what the story is behind it. So, we'll see what happens. So, I, I hope, I'm glad you did, that is awesome. Uh, so for segment one of our obscure jerseys, I'm here with, what's your name? Ryan. Ryan, who has a Christian Hackenberg jersey. Uh, for the Jets, I'm just wondering, uh, Ryan, what's the inspiration behind the Christian Hackenberg jersey? So I'm a Penn Stater, as you okay. can see. Yep. And Christian Hackenberg, I'm a Jets fan too. Okay, yep. Hackenberg disappointed me a little bit as a Penn Stater. A little and bit, one yeah. one good year with Bill O'Brien. Yeah. And then um, I saw he got drafted second round by the yep. Jets. Oh, yeah. Which I knew at the time was a mistake, so I got this Kind of as a joke. <laughs> I love it. And um, I kind of have gone aware when I go to a check game. I love it. I love it. I also work in sports and I uh, showcase this. That's awesome. That's awesome. Ironically, I'm Yeah, oh, of course. Of course. Well, I appreciate <laughs> I you like taking one the one time. Though. It really is. It really is. Anyone who bought it doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> That's very true. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Episode two of uh, Obscure Jersey Sightings at Fanatics Fest. I'm here with, what's your name? John Ray. I'm here with John Ray. Uh, he's got the Starling Marte jersey on, which is really cool. Not necessarily the first New York Met you'd think of grabbing a jersey of. What's the inspiration behind it? I mean, I'm a season ticket holder. Oh, really? That's awesome. And uh, I mean, I like Marte in general, but I was playing the grab bag and won his jersey. Really? Okay. And perfect size because he's my height, so I always love rocking his jersey. Yeah. I love it. It's the classic black mesh jersey, so appreciate it. Thank you for Thank taking you. the time Thank with me. That's awesome, man. Part three of jerseys you don't see every day. I'm here with, what's your name? Uh, John. John, with the all-pro Marlowe jersey, which is awesome. Marlon Humphrey. So what's the inspiration behind, in my opinion, still the best cornerback in the league? So that's always been my opinion on him, is I just think he's one of the best cornerbacks in the league, but he always gets uh, he always gets put under by some of the other guys, like Jalen Ramsey, who I don't even think has been that great like the past couple of years. True. Um, I think the only touchdown Marlon Humphrey gave up last year was against George Pickens. But I mean, like out of 17 games, only true. one touchdown. Very, very impressive. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Nice meeting you as well, John. And I kind of wish you went back to number 29, but. 44 is kind of cool. I, I have a South Alabama jersey. There we go. Sign. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. I love it. I was going to ask Ray Lewis today before yeah. he got down. Does he think the Ravens were snubbed last year? You can't tell me the number one rushing offense went against the number 31st ranked rushing defense, and they ran the ball six times. Taylor Swift wasn't there. Do we think the Chiefs do, Pete? I don't. 
I don't think they do. I don't think they do either. So I'm going Ravens Lions. They did. Lions. They did. This year. I know. I agree. But then all of America is against us. That's the only problem. It's uh, everybody outside of the state of Maryland wants the Lions to win. So hopefully, though. You do your best as the underdog. That's true. Right? That's true. Very true. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Probably the final part of jerseys you don't see every day. We've got. I'm here with uh, Joey. Joey, and he's got a Jake Delhomme jersey on, which is really cool. One of the greatest quarterbacks in Panthers history, I'd say, outside of Cam Newton. Yeah. So, what's the inspiration behind it, Joey? So, I've been a Panther fan since like the late '90s. So, uh, I was I was about like 11 or 12 during their 2003 Super Bowl run, and I was like only their second real good season after 1996. They went to the NFC Championship game. So they should have won the Super Bowl. True. And uh, in that Super Bowl, he actually threw the longest touchdown pass in Super Bowl history. Did not know and that. And do you actually. want to hear something cool? Go I got to tell Chad Johnson that today. Really? That little portal in the NFL That's zone. Amazing. Yeah, he asked me a trivia question, and then that was my answer to when I asked him. That's awesome. So, That's yeah, awesome. yeah. So that's why I got to take the little five playoff it. wins with the Panthers. So, you know. Much forgotten. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Joey. That was awesome. You too. So, little baby came out on stage before and was throwing packs around, and one landed right in my hands. Got a nice Ronald Acuna out of 25 there. Call it in the air. I will call it in the air. So, 420 or 410? Yeah, 420 or 10. How much of a difference when it counts? It's a bad part. You call it. Tails. 420. Deal, bro. Nice. Four yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Okay. the bay. Right 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 by Mickey. Jake Paul. 55, 65, <laughs> and 65. All three on card. These are both one of one. This is the first ever Babe Ruth cut auto with any sort of relic or patch that was taxable. Game one. Yeah. So like Game look, one, you can tell Ruth the dirty. It's, 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 it's a bat. It's a bat. bat. That's uh, crazy. And it's the first time they ever had a Babe Ruth cut with any sort of relic in a pack. It's pretty crazy. That's nuts. They've got the messy side. It's got a nice on card. card yeah. well, three the great How much is a Caitlin card? This is a. It's a for rookie. the this it's rookie. For the WNBA uniform, we'd be at ten thousand. For the college uniform, we'd be at seven thousand. Why is that? The, Just the, the, pro, yeah. the pro, the about. pro uniform will always sell for a little bit more than the college uniform. For her, it might be slightly different because yeah. she has such a legacy at Iowa that her college stuff might retain the value yeah. long. Term. That's PSA part of on card is that sometimes the auto can get a little streaky or a little baby. Right, right, right. Man, I'd, I'd feel really good at twelve. I'd meet you in the middle at thirteen. Card, Joe Montana jersey, Tom Brady jersey, the rookie PSA 10 Victor, and a signed Messi PSG PSA 10. Good deal. Yeah. Thank you. I, I think we gotta welcome him to the hobby. Yeah. 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 Yeah.